the level design was unbelievable. And I've been talking for 10 minutes straight. Um, I just realized. Yeah. I, uh, the connection on my end dumped out about 10 different times. So this is going to be a real interesting stitch job. I'm going to have to do <laughs> in the editing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, it sounded good on my end. I heard okay. everything. Yeah, it's weird. I, I have, you I have, I have a days. perfectly good connection with Justin and Leo. I never <laughs> lost you guys. I kept losing Jess, which doesn't make any fucking sense. But uh, uh. a good connection with James either. So. I, I don't have. I, I hear James break up more than I hear Jess break up. I, I, I'm sure the the problem so, is on my end. Other- I'm sure. Welcome to the Good Games Podcast. My name is James. I'm Leo. I'm Jess. And that's, and that's Justin, whose and I'm wife. Just... Oh, oh, there it is. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> whose wife is currently uh, talking on the phone. So, in order to not have a lot of uh, bleed over, uh, Justin is currently on the mute setting. Uh, how is everyone? How, how is everyone? Good, yeah, how are you? I guess nice. Justin, Justin has been delegated to push to talk only. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, right. <laughs> J- Justin is currently, and uh, I'll... I'm oh. I'm doing great. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did we have an internet thing there? I didn't. A little bit. Oh no, uh, we've got a little bit of bit of Ashley in the background. Oh, yeah, no. And uh, there, there I... was a little bit of delay on, on there. From me? Yeah. 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 Just a little oh. That's, okay. that's all right. All right. Okay. This is Look, a very... I apologize. I'm on shitty hotel Wi Fi, so wait, right. uh, there's nothing I can do. Well, hey, yeah, you know what? Right. We've all got connection problems today, so uh, right, right. <laughs> bear Not with me. us on this episode. Uh, yeah, Justin is currently dialing in from the Luxor yep. in Las Damn Vegas. <laughs> and, oh, and <laughs> apparently, apparently, I cut out there. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be an, this is gonna be an interesting episode. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He can't even finish his joke. <laughs> oh, this, this is great. This is gonna. <laughs> this might be a disaster yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess that's kind of proven uh, for like Psychonauts. It's yeah. like disaster of the mind. Mm. Psycho. Uh, I, I thought you were about to say that Psychonauts, the game, was a disaster. Oh, and I was no. going to have to fight you live. Like, I was just no. going to have to. Yes. Just, uh, just as joining us tonight she is uh the number one psychonauts fan uh number one number yes one. I, I i was very excited for psychonauts 2 looking forward to this release i started playing it and then she literally just took grabbed the controller out of my lap and stole it away and then i just kind of watched her play through the whole game nice yeah. that's true love yeah, you can, and you can tell that i told james you can tell this is a good game because I don't usually do that. Usually I'm like, no, you can have the TV. This time I was like, get the fuck off. I want to play Psychonauts. <laughs> I want to play. Um, yeah, no, so I definitely I just took the game over from James. So that's what, another reason I'm here, because I did the book report for him. <laughs> right, right. Mm-hmm. She did my homework. Yeah. Yep, yep. I mean, I, I guess I would argue that it doesn't make it a good game that you did that. It just makes it a game that you really like. And that's a very subjective thing, right? Whereas yes, it's subjective, but also this game has been getting incredible reviews. Okay, it's, I mean, yeah. you know, I, hey, I didn't say it wasn't. I'm just simply stating that subjectively, some people may disagree, but that's all. Well, some so, people also really want to play Apex Legends and like Final Fantasy fourteen. They like to pretend to be a cat girl samurai. So yeah. This is true of some people. Yeah. So, so wait a minute. Are you speaking from, from experience? Did you play Psychonauts and not enjoy it, Leo? Oh, um, I didn't even really Right. Bother. That's okay, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just like everything I that turns me off in a video game. Like which is what being good? Like, like a good game? Is that what like a kind of like goofy kind of story with like goofy characters and like silly whatever's and then like some sort of like hidden element that's like actually you know deep or something and then just like platforming and like levels and like going to different zones and jumping around i mean you did pretty accurately describe psychonauts that looks that's everything i don't want to play in a game so i just you know 
Motherfucker, you like Shenmue. I want to point that out. You like fucking <laughs> Shenmue. But Shenmue's like the you like, total opposite no, of that game. No, yeah, it's it's a because it's a bad game. It's not a good game. Oh, subjective opinion. Oh, a matter of opinion. The, do I need to pull up audio? Do I need to pull up anything from these games? Hey, the story. Is, I love a good bad. Ass. I love good bad dubbing. Like that's just that's oh. a benefit, a, a pro for me. So, so in other words, you would trade fantastic dialogue for shitty dialogue is what I'm hearing. What you're I, telling I'm me right. is that you don't right. want to eat at the Cheesecake Factory because you're too busy at the IHOP is what I'm hearing. I love IHOP. <laughs> what does IHOP? <laughs> the International House of Pancakes. Man, there was, I didn't know we were... I didn't know we were going to come to blows on the podcast tonight. Jesus. That's a heavyweight bout here. Listen, I mean, I, I have nothing against the game. I, I, it's great for a lot of people. It's got, it's you know, critically. But what you're saying, you know, what you're saying though, is that it's you're not giving it any good points. You're just going like, oh, it's goofy, so I'm not going to play it. No, right, the great yeah, thing about opinion. Psychonaut, which just your opinion, and you are. I when I went into Psychonauts two, I was waiting for it to turn into a pile of shit. I really was. I was waiting for it to just crumble in my hands crawl up its own ass and do all sorts of weird shit. And what you get is this story about accountability, about coping with making mistakes, about doing things that are hard to do, uh, own, you know, owning things that are hard to own. And it's a very, it's a very, very like, while well, lighthearted, heartfelt story. And did everyone just leave? What? Oh, it's just as terrible. <laughs> Dropped. I was like, damn. I've had enough of this shit. So, <laughs> so no, the the thing that the thing that makes Psychonauts at its core a fantastic game is one, they really they perfected a lot of the stuff that made the first Psychonauts fun to play, the different abilities and things like that. They didn't just dump all that and try to make something new they had a really good skeleton there and they put meat on it and it, that was awesome and it made it easier to go in and just play and have fun and then again like i said the story we're talking about a game that came out came out 20 years ago for no reason like i mean no absolutely no reason should i have felt like this it was going to try for nostalgia i knew it was but again after playing kingdom hearts 3 and feeling like wow i'm an adult and this is not connecting with me at all. The fact that this game was able to bridge that gap. It, in short, Leo, you're wrong. Uh, you're very wrong, and I will fight you. Oh, well, you don't have to fight me. I think you're right. I just think it's not for me. <laughs> I think it's a, it sounds like a very important game, and I'm glad it exists for many people, but I will never play it. It's just me. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I, I, I'll admit. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit, th this was like a really good uh, transition from the last game. Like, it almost seems seamless. Well, the crazy uh, thing yeah. the crazy thing is is it, it, it kind of picks up... Well, I mean, it picks off right where Rhombus of Ruin, which was like the uh, VR game, which bridged the gap between the first and the second game. But it like kind of assumes that you've already played the first game because you immediately start with all of the powers that you had at the end of the oh, first game. that could be game. jarring. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I was I gotta imagine a lot like. of people like didn't necessarily play the first one and are, you know, maybe oh, yeah. hopping in onto the second one for the first time. So Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that's interesting that they went that route. <laughs> so Psychonauts is the first it's psycho. game. Psycho. It's Psycho. It's the first game by Double Fine. Uh it is Ever. uh it is kind of like a cult classic. Uh it's a really good 3D platformer that was made in like the mid 2000s that nobody fucking bought or played at all uh i mean except jess and i Let we me. played it uh so um basically the premise of psychonauts is that uh it's this fantastical cartoon world where you play a character who is trying to get into this agency of psychonauts and they they're uh I don't know, their defining ability is that they can jump into people's minds and um, sort of like sort them out. And uh, the way the platforming works is each level in Psychonauts is based on the mind of somebody you're jumping into. 
So like, you know, you jump into like a crazy person, you get this like crazy level. That's all crazy. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's a it's, milkman level. Yes. I yes. think someone did an essay on the milkman level. We should link to that because it's a good essay about just, you know, again, it, and it's another one of those things where we're dealing with like paranoia and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, just like James said, every mind is unique. Mm -hmm. And that's something that carries through. I'd pay to watch like a Psychonauts show. I feel like it'd make mm -hmm. a great cartoon. <laughs> That's yeah, I feel like yeah, a good cartoon. Speaking of cartoons, another fun thing is that um, oh, I can never remember his name, but the guy who voices uh, Raz also voices Zim from Invader Zim. Yeah. Uh -huh. In this game, they managed to bring back Ricky Simmons, who voiced Gurr, for a role that where he is interacting with Raz a lot. So that's really fun for people who, again, were in that like Invader Zim cartoon era where, you know, you immediately recognize it as Gur too. You're like, oh shit, I know who that is. So that's another fun, like, little thing in my weird hot topic heart down here. Yeah, I remember all the Invader Zim stuff, man. I never really got into it, but I had like, there's always like that one person in, in high school who was like, Really wearing obsessed like with it. The, had all the stickers, right? Like just brought like the t-shirts. Like, I was like, yeah. "What is it?" And they're just like, "It's a journey, man. You just got to experience it for yourself." And so I just never. never yeah, I, see, the problem with Invader Zim uh, is that it, it's kind. It was kind of like the prehistoric Rick and Morty, where right. like you've got your people who are into it. And it's like, okay, cool, yeah, this is a really fun show. And then you've got people who are into it who like think they are Zim, and it's like, oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a little cringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so yeah, probably, no, again, we all had those people, but we all also winced at those people. Just oh. is it, roughly around the age where a cringe started to become like a really bad thing with mm -hmm. you know our age group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was definitely a cringy one. Absolutely, but not with you. Get out, thing. really? Who you would have me. guessed? Hey, you guys have me here for some reason. <laughs> Because Probably you're the number I'm one Psychonauts because, fan. Psychonauts so, fan. Yeah. I'm the only motherfucker in this room that beat the game. I think that's what happened. That's, that's a fair point. It's a fair point. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, one knock I will have against the game, which isn't necessarily bad because, again, it is a collectathon and they don't generally run very long anyway. I was able to beat this game, not 100% it, but beat the game's storyline and everything within 15 hours. So it is a short game. It's a very, right. very short game. I like game. that. I like that. Yeah. That's that's fine. Games should be a lot of games should strive to be shorter. There yeah. so many games outstay their welcome. Just too long. I agree. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. There's a lot of, you know, I mean that happens a lot with JRPGs too, where you're like, okay, I beat the final boss, and they're like, guess what? I'm like, please no. Oh there's another guy. Damn it. We there's always another God guy. Again. There, it's always God. It's, it's always, always God. God. Always. Yeah, it's always. Yeah, you got to fight God in the end. <laughs> uh, so what compare comparing Psychonauts 2 to Psychonauts 1, what was the biggest improvement that that uh, that Psychonauts 2 brought? Because I'm a big Psychonauts 1 guy. I only got to play, you know, the opening level of Psychonauts 2 before the controller was snatched from me. So. <laughs> So is it? I, I I don't want to answer all the questions by myself. Well, you yes, oh, no. why you're here. I mean, I, I could comment on it a little bit, just sure. Because uh, I I didn't I played Psychonauts one actually not that long ago. I was oh. a late comer to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, gra I mean, graphically, the game looks fantastic. Like it's a lot smoother. Uh, it still you know pays the old game. You know all the the characters look the same, so yeah, it yeah. looks like the old game. But it's very po it's very polished for what it is. I love mm. I love that the way they brought out the yeah. design in it. Uh, I mean, honestly, completely agree. They managed to keep that weird. Yeah, I was gonna say like honestly, like there's nothing really I can see from the first game to the second one that's even really negative. It almost just it's just like an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, just in more. Way. Pure, pure improvement. The music yeah. feels the same. The yeah. The, oh know, yeah. The look feels the same. The characters yeah. feel the same. Like it really, it feels like like I said before, it feels like a really nice transition from the last mm -hmm. game. 
Right. Yeah, and this one I will say that the first off again, like the the fact that they were able to keep that design, all of the different character designs and stuff, still really zany and goofy looking without making it with every time when they upgrade the textures on Mario. Mm. What does that motherfucker need like hyper realistic denim jeans for? His nose is the size of my fist. Like what the fuck? So I was. Why does he have nipples? Like, yeah, yeah. Why? So I was like, we don't need to see the pores. Exactly, and that was my big worry with Psychonauts initially was that they were going to try to like make it all ooh, it's, it's like high resolution and crazy, you know. Now you can see that you can see all of Raz's eyelashes. Raz's was... nipples. <laughs> I don't want to see them. I don't want it. Don't want it. Uh, you know, so like they were able to keep it. They were able to translate it very well to current generation graphics without any sort of. Uh, without t compromising what it looked like originally too much yeah. because the one yeah. that was the one strength of the original game is that on the PlayStation 2 you could get away with shit like that so good like you could get away with these weird blocky characters with giant heads Low and poly. like language yeah. exactly exactly it's, so yeah it's, they did it's high res it's high res but they didn't compromise the art style of the original game yeah yeah. yeah, it really is. It felt like Justin said, like a continuation in the best way, especially because now the story had a, like because the story in Psychonauts one was kind of loose. It was just like, oh, someone's making people sneeze their brains out, um, which is, you know, weird. This one, like there is like a full like there's a story. There's, you know, a lot of character development and stuff like that. And again, in 15 hours, it's, you know, it's definitely very uh it's a lot of story they put into 15 hours. I will say that. Uh, but yeah, you kind of just feel like you're coming. For me, it felt like coming home. It felt like, oh, this is exactly the same. But, you know, like it, it felt the same way it did to play it now that it did to play in the, the mid 2000s. You know, very much. And, and that's not a, that's definitely a positive thing. You know, the fact that I played it that nostalgia glasses didn't make me expect something bigger. I guess it's the best way to put it. You know, like I didn't bring my goggles down and be like, mm, nostalgia and end up with this weird, you know, end up with this, this weird expectation of it. It delivered on that expectation. And that was something that I read Tim Schafer was really, you know, he thought that was really important was just making sure that this game pleased every, pleased the fans that were already there, made new ones, but didn't try to reinvent the wheel. You know, they liked what they had in the first place. The people who played it liked what they had in the first place. So, yeah, and now it's doing good. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I'm concerned about is uh, people who have never played Psychonauts jumping into Psychonauts 2, because they really expect you to not only have played the first one, but have played Rhombus of Ruin, because the story just picks up and kind of expects you to already know the characters and, like, know the world but and I mean, the setting. Like uh Raz kind of explains it and what happened no, no, the, you're right there there is there is like a recap video at the beginning and that like i was trying to remember because it's been forever since i played psychonauts one so i just watched that recap video and then you're just right into the like it you're right into it and you're like oh okay all right here we go uh yeah um but i felt even knowing that story like the original story as well as i do you don't mm -hmm. really miss out on a ton True. You know, it does you, kind of you it makes you hit the ground running, but yeah. You miss out on some in jokes and some like characters and stuff. Especially there were so many characters I didn't know not having played Ramas of Ruin. I was like, who the fuck is are these guys? Uh yeah. 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 Like one of the things, I think one of the only big things that I noticed and was like excited about was one of the figments you can get is Mr. Pokelope. And I was like, yes. Ah, it's Mr. Pokelope. Like, I, you remember me? That's right when I was like, I'm playing the rest of this game. I hope you didn't want to yeah. play it, because here we go. <laughs> yeah. It was only one of my most anticipated games of the year, but it's fine. No, I can Aww. still go back. I can still go back and play it. Uh, obviously, you, mm -hmm. you didn't. Uh, yeah. I mean, I saw a lot of the game already, but. You know, I feel like if you uh, watch it, it's yeah. probably just as good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched, and I watched a lot of it. It, it was, and the one thing that makes me excited about playing that game is the thing that makes me excited to play a lot of video games is like the amount of variety and creativity in all of the levels like you're you're almost always doing something completely different uh in any given level or at least it looked that way i was like oh this is 
I, I, this is like wildly different than when I came downstairs last time and you were playing. Like this looks wildly different. Uh, yeah, no, there's a the differences between levels is so like it. It's a com they give you a very good set of moves to use. You know, they keep it very. I think you have what ten altogether. You have ten different psychic abilities. And they use that t those ten abilities to do all sorts of different things. There's one level that I think you you weren't either, you were either asleep for or just weren't there for, where you're in a game show. You know, you're playing through and you have to do like you're in a cooking show and you have to do all this stuff. Uh, you have to like mix ingredients and stuff like that. And, and Gordon Ramsay yells at Raz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real bad. It's uh, fucking raw. It's raw, <laughs> Raz. Raw. <laughs> It's not quite that bad, but again, like it's, you know, and then the level right after that is completely different. You know, yeah, you're never yeah, yeah. doing yeah. the same that's, exact that's what I was thing. Noticing. Yeah, you're yeah. never doing the same exact thing twice, and the levels are all, yeah, you know, they're very, you know, because again, like the the point of levels is that there's somebody's mind. Yeah, there's never two minds that are exactly alike. You know, like there's never like oh they just reused assets from this or oh you know that's I saw that before you know or something like that the levels are so completely varied that like they don't even use the same hallways. If yeah. the, you're like going through a hallway in a level and stuff like that, it's awesome. That, that helps keep my stupid monkey brain engaged because if, unless, yeah. unless your game is really, really, really good, my brain just gets bored of doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, so yeah, having a lot of variety is good for me. And the other thing I loved uh, seeing, watching you play and I always love this in games too, is there's a lot of like non-Euclidean space, meaning like um, there's a lot of like impossible uh, geometry. Like um, uh, if you think of like anti-chamber, if you've ever played anti-chamber, um, uh, like, um, uh, okay, so there's an example of, um, I saw you, there's like a doorway and the doorway is uh, just, it, it's an arch. It's an arch that's sitting in the middle of the room and you can see inside the archway. And if you go inside the archway, you're all of a sudden in a completely different, like um, completely, completely different room. Yeah. And it's all it's all seamless. It's all completely, there's no load screen or anything. But like the archway has no depth or dimension. Like, um, I don't know how to describe yeah. that other than go play anti-chamber because anti-chamber just has room after room after room of that same thing over and over again. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of like impossible geometry in that game that I really liked. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I remember what you got too, because there's one level that's in like this woman, she's a writer, and uh, you pass through this like stack of books that are kind of like stacked to look like a doorway, and uh, you look and it's a completely different area, and if you turn around, you see the area you came from, and it's yeah. like, what the? Yeah, and yeah, the way yeah. that it, yeah, it's, it's very, very, very good, the way that they, like, there was a lot, another thing I noticed was how tight everything in the game was mm -hmm. i never felt like i i thought i think i saw maybe one or two glitches and you know but otherwise like all of the textures work together well all of the character models and stuff yeah, like there was one point where i was yeah yeah a lot of polish they really they put everything they could into this game so the big question was it worth the wait yeah, there's a reason that had so much polish. They had so much fucking time to polish the shit out of this. Oh my god! So was it, was I, I it, remember when they announced it. Oh my god! They announced it eons ago. Yeah. I jumped up and we were in a second floor apartment, and I didn't give a shit. I was jumping up and down. I almost broke one of our friend's ankles. Yeah, uh, that was. It's yeah. been so long. That was like two or three apartments ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I was so. Bit. I, I told James playing Psychonauts 2 only made me angrier about bigger games that don't live up to the hype because this did exactly what it needed to do. You know, some people, it, it was more Psychonauts in the most positive way it could be. You know, there wasn't a a point where I was like, well, why the hell did I wait to play this game? Or why, why am I even here right now? Like that kind of, you know, there was no it never felt convoluted or, you know, meaningless what I was doing. You know, you were, you're moving forward the story, you're moving forward these characters, 
because the first Psychonauts I beat in like two days, I had rented it. I was living in Arizona and it was the only game I played that the entire time it was out there, but I beat it, you know, in a couple of days and was just in love with it. And playing this game, I felt like I was that kid in Arizona again. Nice. And oh, that's okay. something that, yeah. Yeah. For some re- and that's something that's so hard to capture. I was say, for some reason, my mind keeps going to ukulele. Yeah. Like they could yeah. have, uh, collect the thons and yeah, games yeah, that were supposed yeah. to live up to their predecessors. Yeah. And it's like, that, is uh-huh. one that did it very wrong where it was the same thing over and over the same kind of level and jumping around no no nothing unique and doesn't doesn't really feel like you're progressing through the game well and there's no like story or there's no i mean like granted it's you know its predecessor didn't really have too much of a story but it's like the the way it felt just didn't transition well what they were trying to do um, I know it's not technically a sequel, but you know it was supposed to live up to a game that everyone enjoyed and loved, and it kind of yeah. fell super flat. All right, anything else with Psychonauts? Leo, what's believe. your opinion? It's better than Shenmue. <laughs> it's, it's, a it's game. better than Shenmue Three. It's a it's a cool game. <laughs> Excellent. We'll put that on the box. It's a cool it's game. A cool game. Leo Jarrett. It's a cool game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to support this podcast, uh, we are on Patreon. If you want to support this podcast without m- money, just leave us a like or a heart or a thumbs up or subscribe or the bell share with or share with the friends or uh, yeah, any of those things. It helps. I've been told it helps, I guess. Our email address is goodgamescast at gmail.com. And uh, our Twitter exists. It's goodgamescast, I think. Um, <laughs> our top five today is our top five 3D platformers. And just like right off the bat, I was like, oh, yeah, I like 3D platformers. And then I started trying to come up with a top five. And I'm like, I don't like 3D platformers as much as I thought I did. <laughs> there's, no. like, there's like... There's like one or two I feel pretty strong about, and then the other ones are like, yeah, that was okay. <laughs> There's something odd there where like I came up with at least two or three of them that I could mm-hmm. definitely mm-hmm. say like mm-hmm. are are you know favorite games of mine from like Yon's past, but like they're all from when I was younger. Like Yeah. I, I don't know what that what the correlation is, but I definitely played a lot more three D platformers when I was younger and have some, you know, reminiscent ideas of some of these classics yeah but in the recent, uh, in the last in the last 15 years i can't come up with a 3d platform well, well here's the other problem here's the other problem do we count does crash bandicoot count since it doesn't have a free roaming i thing? also I think it does. oh yeah. yeah crash is 3d yes yeah, yeah. crash yeah that, crash. Was, that was an honorable as long, for me. As long as, i was gonna say as long as you can go like most directions it's 3d all right 3D. do we want to do we want to just you throw jump. games out Onto platforms. We're good. Do want... I'll, I'll let you guys go first. Do we want to go five, four, three, two, one, or just throw uh, throw them out? Uh, let's just throw them out. We probably need to build something collaboratively because I don't, I don't have enough. Okay. Um, I have I have plenty. So yeah, yeah. The, the one I, mean, I have, good. the one I have that I know will be on Jess's list is uh, Jack and Daxter. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Yep. 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 Uh, I like I the first one. I like the first one strangely better than any of the other ones. I clicked with the first one, and then the sequels just progressively got more and more alienating for me. Yeah, Jack Two tried to be like really tough and like you know edgy and stuff like that. Yeah. It, like we got to appeal just... to teenage boys with guns, violent yeah. guns. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was. I love that tr- that trilogy so much. But yeah, no, there was a lot of stuff. That it was like ah. Uh... Is it like th- this? Might be just like a purely, you know, as some coming from someone who doesn't play any of these games. But like, I always felt like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, and to a lesser extent, maybe Psychonauts. Like they all look kind of like the same game to me. Is that accurate? No. Uh, I, like in, in I think feel? Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank get lumped in together as PlayStation exclusive 3D platformers that have "and" in their title. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, and that was a running joke with Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank a lot, like that, like in 
the third Jack and Daxter game, there's actually posters of Ratchet and Clank in the city. So Amazing. like, Amazing. yeah, no, there's, there's silly shit like that where, you know, like it, it wasn't a secret that it was, you know, like that they mm-hmm. were being compared. And like you said, PlayStation exclusive with and in the title, but that's also a, brings me to our it next game. Also had like, you know, like a sort of a sci-fi look to them. Mm-hmm. It's especially uh, as as Jack as Jack progressed. I remember like this, the second and especially the third game was like very sci-fi. I was like, where did this come from? Because like that wasn't really in the first game at all. No, no. Like the first game was in a very fantastical, tropical yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, where yeah, Jack liked, Three was in a fucking desert. I, I <laughs> liked that. I liked that setting from the first game, and we just got away from that. And I was like, eh. Yeah, no, the I love that series, but yeah, as it, it tried to it tried to make itself older, like it tried to grow up, and it was like, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, but then my next game, that the game I was going to suggest is mm-hmm. uh, Banjo Kazooie. And that is number that is that is five and four on my list are Jack and Daxter well, and Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie's on my list. Yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. I think that's gotta be on. Yeah, we all, yeah, I did it. The, did the classic, it. classic collectathon. Right. Yeah, the one that no, it's, it right. Yeah, it it really did, you know. And you can't. I I hate even like thinking about Banjo Tooie because sometimes like Banjo Tooie was fine, but you know it's another example of a not great sequel. Uh, it's like oh, we did it. Um, but no, Banjo Kazooie was just fucking perfect. Everything, music, art style, you know, just this again. It. The thing that I like about a lot of these collectathons is that they do have a very lighthearted tone to them. Like, I would rather have a fun, you know, not entirely laid back, but not entirely, you know, like, I don't want Dark Souls every time I play. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need this gritty, grungy, you know, crazy, like this dark fantasy setting. I want something. I want to charge your chest with eyeballs on it sometimes. That's all I want. You know, because you know how easy it is to forget you have to pay taxes when you're looking at I mean, a piece of paper. With I mean, Dark on Souls. It? Dark Souls literally have, does have. have, 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 have. <laughs> Dark Souls literally does have a treasure chest with eyeballs, though. I will throw that out. Oh, oh and, teeth. Uh, and teeth. Well, and teeth. Okay. Big teeth. Lots of teeth. And a tongue. Classic mimic. You know? yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So then I'll say instead, I want something that has a notebook with eyeballs on it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now. Well, I, now. Now I just want a video game that's Dark Souls, but with like a Banjo Kazooie thing <laughs> to it. <laughs> like you, you open the chest, its eyes open, and it's like blah, 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 you're like talking to you. I want yeah, and you're like I want, oh, Miyazaki, God. I want Miyazaki to adapt Banjo Kazooie to be a Dark Souls boss because you know that would be some grotesque mutation of a bear and oh, a bird, God. like st- and it would just be like wings growing out of it, and like it would be horrifying. And yes, it would go. (laughs) 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 Exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, like that. So yeah, that's one thing that Banjo Kazooie does fantastically is it has this very lighthearted, fun style about it. You you can look at a Banjo Kazooie design and know it's Banjo Kazooie kind of thing. Uh, Yeah. So that's something that I love about Banjo Kazooie. Another one I have, huh? I was going to take a stab at like one since I only have so many left, and I feel like it would probably be on everyone's right. list yeah, as well. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Super Mario sixty four. Not, yeah. not, not on my list. Not on my list. Didn't oh, make it. It's on my list. Okay. Okay. Fair. Here's right. my reason for not having it. I feel like Mario in itself is a very different type of game. It's a it's a platformer. It's a collectathon. Yes, it's but 3D. it's it's a three D platformer. But it's really not. Oh, so you don't have any Mario games on your list? No, no, oh. I have none. Uh, the reason I excluded Mario sixty four is because I think there are Mario sequels that are just strictly better. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I tried to just exclude Mario entirely because we okay. could make an entire list that was just that, Mario. That was my thing. Really I was like, to. I could just yeah. have every single Mario game on here. So I'm just going to have that, one. I, I just want one Mario game on my list. Uh, I went... And then, with, and then Justin has to delete, delete half his fucking list. Fuck. <laughs> I went... I, well, you don't have to. I went with Mario Odyssey. I think Mario Odyssey was the best 3D platformer I've ever played. The best collect-a-thon. I mean, it does a lot of the things that I was saying Psychonauts 2 did. right. Like, variety. Like, every single level in Mario Odyssey is just like, whoa, this is crazy different than what we were doing a second ago. 
Um, yeah, th- I, that, that was my number one. Actually, yeah, was. yeah, that, yeah, that was I'll, also. I would, also yeah. That was I also play my Odyssey, and it, it was mostly the same thing. So yeah, I'll I can defer to Odyssey yeah. instead. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Odyssey is just one of those like just everything is just like perfectly polished and like so joyful. It's like you can't be angry and play Mario Odyssey. You're just like the entire time you're playing Mario Odyssey, you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and that to me, that's something that makes a good collective fun. Like I completely yeah. agree. Yeah, Odyssey yeah. is perfect, but you know how can you compare people to God kind of thing? Right. right. Like there's <laughs> just, everything about. <laughs> There are, there are levels in Mario 64 that make me go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the other thing, the one knock I have against Odyssey is the opposite of the one I have against Psychonauts 2, and that Odyssey is a lot of fucking game. There's yeah. so much. Yes. Like, there, there are, there, you can yep. definitely get fatigued playing that game yep. if you're going to 100%. It's, which I, it's but a I lot think of it. That can happen with any collectathon, but. You know, that's the one thing to say about that is just that it's, but that's what, uh, again, the reason I didn't even include it on the list is like, well, then why even bother putting anything else on the list? Yeah. You know, yeah. If we're, if we're including Mario games, but no, like I completely agree. Mario Odyssey is absolutely perfection. Yeah. So uh, obviously the game we just talked about, I had Psychonauts, the original on here. I have a feeling if I played the sequel, the sequel would probably replace the original for me, but uh uh, Psychonauts was definitely on my list. I would say for now, Psychonauts the series because they roughly yeah, yeah. almost play the exact same. It's kind so of the same. Whereas like, like Mario kind of evolves and like there is definite bit, difference. Yeah. D- there is different, different, d- a little bit of definite differences between sixty four and like Sunshine and Galaxy and Odyssey, right? Uh, Psychonauts one and yeah. two gameplay wise are kind of the same. Uh, yeah. 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 So yeah, no, Psychonauts in general. Yeah, I had Psychonauts. Yeah, I completely agreed on that. Uh, I have one. Uh, what about Spyro? Oh, I did not have Spyro oh, on my Spyro? list. I did not have Spyro. Actually, I yeah. might even replace Mario 64 with Spyro. Well, well fuck you, Mario yeah. 64. Fuck off, Mario 64, yeah. even though you were the original 3D right. platformer that really yes. kind of kicked it off for everybody. It's, but, yes. you know, fuck you anyways. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> fuck you, Dad. It's definitely Get out of here, boomer. It's definitely the. <laughs> I'm hoping that like there's somebody in the hotel adjacent to you just hearing you scream, "Get out of here, boo!" Oh yeah, I I, really, I do too. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely the granddaddy of all uh, 3D platformers. But I I think we've just come such a long way since 64. Have you gone back and replayed 64? Like, go back and do that, and then realize how fucking frustrating not having tight camera controls is in that game. Because like oh, yeah. you remember, you just had the C <laughs> buttons, and it was. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Four, yeah. four. Why can't I turn the camera this way? Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah. And the camera anyway, just... we've we've come such a long way since yeah. that game, I think. And I think there are strictly Turns better out games. Lakitu is still the enemy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> I hope Welcome I'm back. back anyway. Hey, thanks. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's a perfect segue into my last um item on my list. The only platformer that I actually kind of like enjoyed because it had swords, something I love, and temporal play, which is also something I love. And that's Prince of Persia's Sands. Yes, of yes, yes! I, I, that is a very good I game. I did not think that anyone else would game. have that game. That is my number two. Sands of Time is so good and very underrated. Sands of Time mm-hmm. is fucking okay. great. Like I said, how you get Leo hooked in? You got you add swords and yeah. you add time play and like i'm in like that's how could i not but so I, I i think a lot of people remember the prince of persia series for the two sequels warrior within and whatever the fuck the third and they kind of like we were just talking about with jack felt this pressure to become like way more edgy and like yeah sword violence and blood yeah go if you remember the original sands of time it was just so like playful and fun and like Almost goofy, not quite, but like it was. It was playful in a way. It was fun. It took a little more seriously, though, which I think was also a, a, a hook for me too. Yes, yeah. but that game definitely was allowed to have fun in a way that I think yeah. those sequels. It eventually... was very much animated. It was like an animated. Yes, like uh, yeah. I just remember like the ending cuts. Well, 
I won't spoil it if you haven't played Prince of Persia Saints of Time, or you could just go to YouTube and watch the ending cutscene. It's very good. Uh, yeah, that's. I'm so glad somebody else had Sands of Time. I thought I was going to be the only one. See, I really like the Prince of Persia. I think it was like 2008 game. Yeah, really, yeah. But see, oh the yeah, that one was I, very grungy. I remember. Well, yeah, no, 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 the it was so edgy. Yeah, super oh, edgy. Oh, wait, the 08 one with the what? Yeah, had like the. the the girl that like helped you like go through yeah. and do different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember that one being more like colorful. Oh, really? It wasn't. Okay. It was kind of like it's like they looked at Shadow of, Col Shadow of the Colossus and went, "Oh yeah, do that." Yeah, so, that sounds a little. Like it would be yeah. a little bit darker to me, like grayscales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that very... game being very colorful. Maybe that's just my bad. I didn't really play it, so. Yeah, when's my birthday? <laughs> do, you, do you want uh, Prince of Persia, 08? No, no, I was trying to get you to dox me live to see if you could remember things. Oh, no, I... Mm, <laughs> I don't remember uh, anything. Google right, any, Ever. Any, any other games that need to be added for consideration? Did we add Crash uh, Bandicoot? Yeah, I think... I, I, think, think I think Crash definitely needs to be on a top five list. I mean, it's not on but, mine, but yeah. that's only because I didn't really grow up with Crash. But it's I think a that classic. Definitely, yes, classic. it deserves deserves to be on a top yeah. five list but justin what was your suggestion oh well mine was the last mario game we didn't really we only kind of mentioned a little bit but uh mario sunshine i i uh, fucking i know nobody else in the world loves that game except for you and me justin uh yeah. but i still think odyssey is just a strictly better version of sunshine yeah. odyssey, is, odyssey limit... is definitely better but i liked yeah. sunshine because it was so unique yeah it wasn't just mario jumping around and bouncing it was like you had to use this whole device that propelled you or shot you or floated you or whatever. So I don't know. I thought that was cool. Like except nice, except when like the a game... nice refreshing except the difficulty when... yeah. curves. <laughs> except better, when you but... don't have that device and the game wants to fuck you in the ass and gives you this impossible platforming challenge that would have been hard with the device and then they take it away. And yeah. Like... Anyway. Honorable mention. Yeah, yeah. Honorable mention to Sunshine yeah. Yeah. and Spyro. Yeah, I would definitely keep Crash Bandicoot on the list, though. Like that, just okay. So, what gets edged out? Because we got, I think, six games between yeah. Crash, Jack, Crash, Jack and Daxter, Banjo, Psychonauts, Prince of Persia, and Mario. I guess we're saying Mario Odyssey. I mean, I don't want to just force Odyssey over everyone. Yeah, if you else, had to pick one slot for Mario, I feel it's, like it's got to be Odyssey. Odyssey. How can it yeah. not? Yeah. How can yeah. it not be Odyssey? Odyssey that game's is crazy. Perfect. Odyssey is yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, was there anything other than those six? No, for me. I think yeah, it's that's... probably between Jack and Daxter and Prince of Persia. And I feel like there's probably mm -hmm. enough popularity with Jack and Daxter that it'll push Prince oh, of Persia. Oh man, out, Sands of Time is so underrated though. That I, game is so I love good. it, but but it's very much This isn't everybody game. else's list though. This is our list. That's true, true. I know, true, true, but true. I mean, yeah, I will stick lot, up for Sands of Time. A lot of I times mean, when we come up with the top five, I try to think of like the definitive games, yeah, yeah. even though there's, there are some that I know are, are on my list just because it's me. So I will, you know, oftentimes I'll, I'll pull those out because I know like that's just a Leo thing. Yeah. Yeah. Having, having, having played both, I would put Sands of Time over Jack and Daxter, but uh, I don't know. That's just me. I would put Jack and Daxter over it, but again, like I know that th this is one of those things where it's not a perfect game, so I'm not gonna like it. It was great, but it wasn't, you know. I mean, Sands of Time it has a huge following, so for good I, I don't think it does. I think so many people have forgotten Sands of Time. I know a ton of people who love Sands of Time. Really? Okay. Yeah. Did you right. get yeah. like a remake recently, too? No, that everyone's forgotten about. No, but the, no, <laughs> there is not a remake. I think there was a re release, maybe. Let me, uh, let me fact check that. Hang on. I might be talking out of my ass. Talking All right. Ass. I, I think you're right. I think you're right, though. I think it's between Sands of Time and Jack and Daxter. And that's fine, even though, listen, honorable mention needs to go to Sands of Time, but we'll put Jack and Daxter at slot number five. Uh, what was what, what needs to be number four? Psychonauts? Yeah, probably, mm -hmm. right? I would put Psychonauts a little higher, but what, what are our choices again? Uh, Psychonauts, uh, Banjo, uh, Spyro, or no, Spyro was honorable. Crash and Odyssey. I'd put Psychonauts above Crash, but only a little, because 
Crash is yeah. great, but it doesn't have the same meat that Psychonauts does. Like, yeah, I, I would. Ag I could agree with that. Yeah, Crash can get very same level every time, kind of thing. Yeah, Crash uh, tends to feel the same and is a bit linear in its gameplay. So <sighs> there's a remake being worked on. It is not released yet. <gasps> yeah, that, so is, was delayed. that is it was that is very uh, that is very oh, exciting. Uh, That's definitely gonna be an episode. I'm very Next excited year, for that because the world has definitely. I feel like the world at large has definitely forgotten about that game. If that if that is due to release like next year, that'll be in my top five anticipated yep. game for next yep, year. Yep, 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 yep. That's gonna be great. Anyway, uh, sorry. What, what did we say? Psychonauts over Crash. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Crash and then Psychonauts. Okay. Yes. So yeah. Uh, five was Jack and Daxter. Four Crash. Three Psychonauts. Now we're between Banjo and Mario Odyssey. It's not even close for me personally. Yeah. Because uh, I know he'd put Odyssey at one. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That game, there's like there's like everything else, and then there's Mario Odyssey. Like that game, to me at least, that game was just like wildly good. It, like hands down the best 3D platformer I've ever played. My one argument for Banjo Kazooie to be mm -hmm. number one is that the. Again, this isn't really a knock, but it's just, you know, a note about Odyssey. If you look at the Odyssey assets, if you look at the Odyssey characters and everything like that, unless it's Cappy, it kind of looks the same as anything else you'd see in a, in a current Gen Mario game. That's true. That's true. The game, it the doesn't, game doesn't have a unique fingerprint. It doesn't have a unique true. fingerprint. It's true. basically, true. yeah. It's true. a beautiful, it's a perfect game. Like, it really is. Like, it's got, you know, it's, it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. You know, there's a lot of you know level variety and stuff like yep. that, but it's like I, I can picture in my mind's eye what Galaxy looks like, and it's Mario hopping around planets. I can picture in my mind's eye sunshine, and it's Mario in the jetpack. You picture in your mind's eye Odyssey, and it's like, yeah, it's just like a bunch of crazy shit. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, and it's but it, it's it's a fantastic game, but I think that Banjo Kazooie ekes out the number one spot only because wow. it has such a unique fingerprint. It has, wow. you know, again, if you hear music from Odyssey, you're like, okay, that I think that's Odyssey, maybe, or maybe that's this other one. Um, where with Banjo Kazooie, there's no mistaking what the Banjo Kazooie music True. is. There's no, you it, know, mistaking it, what it the characters a, are. I think it has a better sense of style and identity than Odyssey yeah. does. But like the gameplay yeah. in Odyssey, come on, that game feels game so is, good. <laughs> There's no, nothing it's, else it's that feels that good. It's incredible, but you're we're kind of comparing a scooter to a motorcycle when it we comes are, to what we are. assets There's, they have available. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, it's it, if we if we adjust for if we adjust <laughs> for inflation, like what, what does it look like? Oh, yeah, I thought you were. Because I'm I'm talking about gameplay, and I think Banjo Kazooie is trying to be like this. Uh, like a, a kind of like character, like goofy characters, and like sort of a story based, a goofy story based collectathon, and like Odyssey is, ah, I, I again like Odyssey doesn't really have a strong sense of identity to me. It's just like fun. Yeah, <laughs> and see, like that's both a that's both a plus and a huge minus for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Again, like if everyone else disagrees, like that's fine. Uh, because again, like that's just how I see. Like that's what would eke All right, let's let, be above it. But I think we should let Leo and Justin be the tiebreakers. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I'm with I'm with Jess on this. Like because he doesn't Kazooie. want me to yell again. Jeb, well, Benjo Kazooie is just like purely the single most played 3D platformer for me. Like I played a shit ton of that as a kid. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, if you just go based on my purely like objectively my most played platformer, which is the one I must like the most, it's Benjo Kazooie for all the reasons you stated. Like it's just got class and character and great music. And um, unique yeah. Design. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Justin, what are you feeling? I played, played a lot more Banjo Kazooie than I did Mario Odyssey. I'll tell you that. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's Mar. No, I'm just kidding. I guess I would just make it a tie again. Um, no, I actually, I am actually agreeing with Banjo Kazooie. All right, Mario All right. Odyssey is a fantastic game. It's I'm not gonna say awesome. that. Yeah, it's so much fun to play that game. Mm -hmm. But like, I agree. Banjo Kazooie like laid down this image. Yeah, and like when you think Banjo Kazooie, you can just yeah yep. see it. Where yep. Mario, yeah, yeah, Mario Odyssey just is kind of 
all over the place, even though it's a great platformer. It's yeah, just yeah. kind of everywhere. We got this like hyper realistic T Rex, and then also Mario, like that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, yeah, no. They they just threw everything into that. Game. It's just everything yeah. is in there. It's yeah, pure yeah. You're a, technical specimen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will um, say though, just, just, is, just is a lot more focused. Yeah. To say something about Mario Odyssey, did anybody like get like, hey, Japan? Do you know? Are you just like making fun of Mexicans here on the first level? No, oh. second level. Like, yeah, did like, like anybody kind of get that vibe where it's like, man, this is just they're just stereotyping them up the up the ass there. Japan can get away with it, man. I know. It, it see, it only would have made it worse. Like it, it wasn't terrible. It would have been worse if they'd been like, oh man, man, Holmes, I don't, I, I need to, you know, like I don't know. They start, don't know they I start talking. Yeah, they start talking a certain yeah. way. Yeah, hey, Cachito! Like, yeah. <laughs> please, please give me. Hey, Mario! <laughs> I need, I need, I need a Spanish Mario now. Yeah. Yeah. Hola, es a mí. Oh, hombre! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh man! Terrible. So yeah, no, like that. That was another kind of like, oh yeah. So that is a little weird, but at least you know they didn't do that. Kind of. At least they weren't completely racist. Uh, yeah, I yeah. know. It wasn't no. racist. It was it was just stereotyping a little bit. Magic Kazooie was one of those games that just just got it right. Like and like like that was yeah. that was well, the formula. Like, that was the mix. Right exactly. <laughs> the, right. formula. Uh, the formula. Formula. So the definitive top yeah, no, five. Sorry. Oh. No, I was just going to say it's kind of like uh, there's a movie, uh, Disney's Hercules is one of the most unique looking Disney movies, but you can always tell when something's from Hercules because of the just unique art style of it. It doesn't make it the best film, but yeah, anyway, go ahead. So the definitive top five 3D platformers, number five, Jack and Daxter, number four was Crash, number three was yeah. Psychonauts, number two was Mario Odyssey, and number one was Banjo-Kazooie. There you go. There you have it. Mm -hmm. The best platformers. Uh, you guys want to endorse? You guys want? You guys want to endorse some stuff? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I, I guess I'll go first. Um, <laughs> I'm going to endorse. Uh, by endorsing. Huh? Whoa. Uh, we lost James. Oh. I guess what? Hey, this is going to be the most difficult edit job I've ever done. <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's, this is a disaster. Just leave it in. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm going to, I, I, I don't know if, uh, anyway, I'm going to endorse, uh, algorithmically generated content. Uh, there is something about, uh, algorithmically generated content that just speaks to my sense of humor. And I'm talking about, um, if you Google, uh, an AI writes it's an episode, goes, um, it stops. <laughs> I, I won't say, um, smile, anymore. Guys. how about that? You can see uh, I'm talking. Shit! I'm talking about uh, fuck. Now I'm self-conscious of it, and it's impossible not to. Uh, I'm talking about uh, AI writing an episode of Batman the Animated Series. I'm talking about AI uh, writing oh, yeah. a chapter of uh, Harry Potter. Uh, just shit like that <laughs> makes me very, very happy. Go read that shit. It's so, so. I, I don't know what it is, but there's something that just destroys me about AI's writing shit like that. Uh, there is also Twitter bots are now a thing that is kind of becoming popular. And there is a Twitter AI. Uh, if, if you follow fighting games or the Smash Brothers community at all, there is a AI that tweets under the handle Deep Leffen. And it's supposed to be a parody of the fighting game player Leffen. Uh, and it's just fucking weird, wild, and hilarious. So... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm endorsing those three things, and I'm also going to endorse this pseudo uh, AI translation of uh, a text to speech that Justin uh, gave us, blessed us with the other night. Uh, so, <clears throat> I find host for me because I'm at alert ceremony for Ashley, just hoping to take out my night. But tomorrow should be pretty quiet. Uh, okay, I'm going to skip around here. There's some good shit. I'll be coming at you live yeah. from the HyperX Studios here at Luxor. 
I don't know. Oh my god, the- it's getting so bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. We're just hearing the- little snippets. It's great. I don't know what the fuck text to speech. All we hear is. Tried to tra- <laughs> Oh, let me try something here. But on a good note, I just made this happen. better at this oh, point for okay, James hang on, hang on, to like, walk over to death's camera. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, for the love of God, a word ceremony for fuck's sake. Oh I'm it's going to burn a Texas <laughs> beach. I swear to God, motherfucker. Anyway, there's... Is he reading my stuff from Discord? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because apparently I just... Actually... My internet... Just keeps cutting out. So somebody else start talking, please. Jesus motherfucker. My Christ. phone's voice to text and was see. yeah well was done. not well agreeing with me. <laughs> and yeah. every time I talked to it, it and, was so good. And then I and to include that, I was already drunk at that point. So right, it couldn't, pick, it couldn't make out. <laughs> so it was just a word. drunk man fighting with speech to text on his phone. Uh, That's what that ended up. Being. Damn it, Siri. You know, yeah. 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 You can't tell me you haven't done that before. Drunkenly screamed at your phone for not doing what it's supposed to. <laughs> I haven't, but I need to. All right. Um, well, I will uh, just quickly endorse watching the Wheel of Time teaser trailer. As we now know, the show is to be released November 19th on Amazon Prime. Hell yeah. And uh, the trailer is Amazeballs. Check it out. Sweet. Um, hmm. you know, the funny thing How, was, how's Vegas? I mean, Vegas is great. I recommend Vegas. Vegas is fun. Do you um, recommend Texas Beach? Is that what you recommend? No, I don't recommend that shit. Still angry at it. Um, you know, I think it was, I had an endorsement like many days before. I was like, oh, this would be perfect. And now I can't fucking it's all gone. think oh, of anything. Right. Uh, Put a pin in it. It always you... happens to me. Yeah, I'll just you use bring it right back but, hey, you know what? Vegas is fun. Come to Vegas. It's nice. Nice to get away from things. Uh, how, is, how is it in the COVID times? Was it? Do you still feel pretty good out there? Yeah, so they're making uh, mask mandates are in pretty much all the casinos. So you can't walk cool. about the casino cool. without masks. Um, for the most part, most people here are being pretty good about it. doesn't seem like it's too bad. Uh, yeah, man, I, I can't think of like, I had one and I lost it and I, so I'll just save it for next time. It's fine. It'll come back to me at some point. But hey, Las Vegas is fun. Woo. I don't, Las Vegas is pretty great. I don't know if James is talking or not. No, I'm not. He keeps freezing. Oh, yeah, you're good. Nope. <laughs> Nope. No, sometimes he also just sits. Yeah, sometimes still. you sit so, so like, still. Yeah, I have no idea it. if you're <laughs> frozen or what. Um, my endorsement is the Matrix Four teaser. Uh, I was not excited. Like I was like aware that it was happening, but let's be honest, the last two Matrix films were not amazing. So I was like, okay, here we go. I guess. Wait, is that but out? There's a trailer. They- uh, it's there coming out tomorrow. For the trailer. Yeah, no, the yeah. trailer itself is coming out on the on September 9th. And but the uh, the teaser for the trailer came out and that was enough to make me go, oh, oh, shit. OK, all right. All right. Let's see what's going on. So take a peek at it. Take a I'm, peek at you. Uh, I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic as The Matrix is my favorite film of all time. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. I will be watching. Mm-hmm. I'll be anticipating. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not fully on board until I see the trail, the, the right, trailer, right, or, yeah. or more info, you know. But yeah, I still it. don't know how it's going to be. But the again, the concepts they introduced in just the teaser had me going, okay, yeah, I'm going to watch. Yeah, it. Like it, it looks on. like it, there's going to be some some different characters and some yeah different it, choices. Is yeah. the other like yeah, mm-hmm. there were blue pills involved. I'll just say that, and I was like, why? All right, uh, that is our show. Um, our next episode. He, he, remembered. Oh, he, remember, he remembered. I remembered, he remembered it. it. All right, here you go. I remember. Right, it's fucking edit. these. I looked. Is... I looked at myself. <laughs> it's all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go uh, yeah. So, uh, no, no, it's not my penis. 
Although I would recommend it. Um, Endorse this! <laughs> my deck! No, yeah. so these babies. Noise canceling, active noise canceling headphones. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. For yeah. plane rides. These yeah. things are fucking amazing. It made all that plane noise sound like, you know, like air coming out of an AC vent. Like it was just so calming and quiet. Like I even started to kind of fall asleep on the plane with these things on. And not only that, these things got some good bass. I got uh, the, it's like the Anchor 02 something sound core, I think. Uh, really good. It's only like 50 bucks on Amazon. And these things are, are perfect. Even now, like the AC behind me is going off and I, I can't even hear it. So. We can. Your wife has been yelling at you I'm for the sorry. last hour, and you can't even hear her. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear her. It channels her right out. <laughs> she fell in the bathroom forty minutes ago. She's bleeding yeah. out. She's fallen and can't get up, and I can't hear her. <laughs> All right, our next episode is probably going to be Wario Where Get It Together for the Switch. Uh, so uh, watch that show. Um, I think that's yeah. it. And any anything else? Cool. Uh, all right. A, a yawn is is what we got there. Uh, all right for the, for the good games pod. Well, let's get you to bed then, and we'll sign off uh, for the good games podcast. I'm James. I'm Leo. I'm Justin. And I'm Jesse. All right, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dialogue, it has a little bit of that, like. Like, a, if I were to recommend this game to somebody that had never played it before, the first thing I would. Say, like, because, you know, your collect a thon game, like. psychonauts you know because at its core that's as long as i'm doing this ridiculous edit job uh i wanted to go back and explain what the hell psychonauts <laughs> even is what's he doing oh i uh, hey well here's the thing here's the thing i think we on, should just you know, nod and smile because on the recording it's gonna exactly. sound great that's the point so, like, that's the point just, i was gonna make. we should just nod and smile while, yeah, yeah. While James is yes so what a great well, Indeed. Well, what a fucking disaster this is going to be. Right. Anyway, Very. Great I've seen it. <laughs> so, uh, Psychonauts this is, is so great. So, Psychonauts. I should just I should just leave this in unedited. Just this whole disaster. <laughs> uh, to be able to keep its story and its meanings and its you know.